I've got a delivery of the um, the discs to go on the the sanding disc. So what I've ordered for this is a couple of uh, Velcro pads, which are self adhesive, to go onto the disc, and some Velcro sanding discs, which are. The next thing grit. we need to do now is to put a, well, what I would call a staging on here, uh, or a rest, um, which I want to be able to alter the angle from 90 degrees to the face to approximately 45. So either side of it, uh, I'm going to need some sort of adjustable hinge. So what I've come up with, very simple, um, is um, a slotted hole in like a half moon shape um, with uh, just a pivot point and uh, I'm going to mount it just below centre um, in fact I could probably mount it anywhere I, I, I wanted to within um, a few inches here but uh, just a bit an inch below the centre height I think so what I thought I'd do is, I, well I've actually uh, written a small program for the CNC machine and uh, I'm going to be making them out of this uh, aluminium flat bar, it's uh, 1 8 by 4 inches um, so I'll be making four, um, one mounting bracket for each side um, and then of course one mounting bracket that goes on the staging with the, um, the slot in it okay so what I've done is I've mounted uh, this piece of MDF on the table square to the front edge of the bed so it's nice and square and I put a line on there, a datum line, so every time I change plate all I have to do is line this plate squarely up with that line and this edge and I don't have to reset the zero of the um, CNC, I just really just press go. Quite a number of you have been uh, writing in and asking me um, the difference between a machine zero and a work zero. Well, this is where, where the machine is now at the moment, where this uh, um, spindle is uh, at rest here. This is the machine zero. This is the preferred area or accessible area um, to change tools, and um, so this is the manufacturer's machine zero area this will this is where the the um, the assembly comes uh, to rest and it's easy for you to change tools now then a work zero is determined um, in a program like AdCam um, where the actual program starts from in other words the reference point of where the tool is going to reference where the work is, the beginning of the work. And from that, uh, the machine knows exactly how big the mater material is and what to do with it. Uh, in this case, I've made the work zero, the dead center of the piece of material. Uh, so that's where the program uh, will start from. So what I have to do now is manually uh, bring the tool over to the central point of the material and set the work zero. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so I've got my pendant now and I've set it to the uh, X direction. So we'll traverse the...
so we're happy with that. X, Y. Notice they've all gone to zeros now. X and the Y. So now it's just the Z. Probably seen me do this trick before. Just correct it there, so I press the Z. And these numbers should go zero. There we go. So now the machine knows exactly where the center of that piece of work and indeed the program is. slot in uh, real time uh, high speed. <laughs> And if you're interested uh, in having a look at um, how these programs are put together, um, and especially AtCam, uh, my videos number 30 and 31 are dedicated to putting simple programs like this together to operate either a, a CSC a Miller machine or indeed a, a CSC router. Um, for the price of uh, Cam Express, um, I don't think it can be beaten, and it's really a good program. So um, have a look, see what you think. <laughs>
use these uh, screws, nuts and uh, washers, to uh, go through here to pivot this on. And to run in this uh, slot, uh, if you remember these uh, little wheels, uh, these little hand wheels that I took off the old saw, I'm now going to um, thread uh, the holes in this plate to take these so I can use as a <laughs> so I can use to clamp this up. The easiest way I know to um, make a thread with a with a tap is with a drill, cordless drill on low speed, uh, offer it up nice and square and Instant thread. Right, so that goes together fairly successful. You notice I have now a 45 degree angle of movement and uh, what I've done, I've put a couple of washers as, to act as spaces in between there and a, and a nut on the end of, uh, or halfway down the, the shank of the screw there to uh, give me a little bit of clearance from the screws that I'm going to put on this plate when I operate up to the side of my unit. Uh, I've just modified two brackets, just really just cut them off a bit shorter. And what I'm going to do now is drill these to suit these um, screws, which I'm going to mount on the end of the bracket here. Then I'm going to mount the Malamine platform onto the Okay, I've just fitted the um, Velcro pad on and I've put a disc on and everything. So the next That's thing I'm going to do is to, to measure where the Malamine staging goes on. So I'm going to allow myself a little bit of clearance here. MDF three millimeter board in between the disc and the edge face of the uh, stage in here, and I've clamped the stage into the bracket, so now I can pre-drill it, and I know everything's going to be square and perfect. It's uh, pretty well a finished unit. Um, I'm leaving these corners on here. I was originally going to cut them off to the shape of this, but uh, I actually want to mount a, a light, and I'm not sure which side I want to mount it on to give it that finishing touch. And of course, I will rub it all down and paint it, but uh, I haven't got time today, so I suppose we better give it a bit of a test run. So we have, it goes over uh, about 45 degrees there, so that all works fine. Let's see if it uh, does what it's supposed to do. It appears to do quite well. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to stop it. So, there you go. It's um, a 
12 inch or 305 millimeter sanding disc, homemade, safe. So I hope uh, you've enjoyed this very short series. Uh, maybe if you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel or press like if you would like to. Or alternatively, up in the top corner, you'll see a little red box there. You press that and it'll take you to my YouTube channel where this is, I think, number 59. So I think the, the next video that I'll be making will be the, what, what I want, I want some um, draw space to put stuff in. And I want to be able to wheel it around the, the workshop with this on it or with this off it. Um, so it's going to be a, a, a workshop storage ca uh, cabinet on casters, um, sturdy enough to put this on, um, or my belt sander on, uh, or anything else I want to put on it really. And I also want to make it the same height as this, so I can use it as a, a feed table, um, or an extension to this, so I can cut sheet. So, until next time, thank you for watching, and bye for now. Hmm. That went wrong. Have you ever heard the expression, what will go? Oh shit. Three, two, one. Have you ever heard the ex... Oh, I'll say it again. Three, two, one. Have you ever heard the expression, what can go wrong, probably will go wrong, especially when you've got a camera on? Um, well, if I can find the camera, where are we? There we are. Um, Maybe third time lucky.